Shalom, brothers and sisters. So the Queen has passed, finally, after many of us <laughs> believed she never would. Um, and I think Charles is very happy that he's finally getting his gap. And we were all wondering if it would be him or his son. But apparently it's Charles, because they refer to the King and his consort that will stay at Balmoral for now and then head back into London to make preparation for everything. So on a prophetic point, very important because they definitely play their part in a big way and they've been involved in pretty much all the machinations and plans in the background of setting up this new global cable and world power and everything that they're preparing for Antichrist. If you go back to COP26, I covered this in a video, you can go find it, you can look on other channels too, we all covered this, that he clearly on stage mentioned a person, a male person, that he will need trillions at his disposal for the changes that need to be made to the world to save it. He being Antichrist, who else is he referring to? Now himself, Charlie Boy, is also under many opinions, an Antichrist option. Many people think he could be Antichrist. And you can go into that, and I'll touch on that in a video on Antichrist, um, where I'll mention him as one of the people's options that they think could be. I don't personally think so, but there's a lot to it. There's a lot of prophetic things in his coat of arms, his titles. We'll still see what name he chooses when he becomes king. He might not reign as King Charles. He might reign as King Edward or who knows what. And then there'll be unpacking to do on that as well. But the interesting thing that I want to leave you with, as the world holds its breath for their new king in the UK, who's very invested in what's happening around Rosh Hashanah with all the treaty signings and everything as well, and very much has written a lot of that playbook for what they're planning. Um, in 2002 in Brazil, they made a statue of Prince Charles as an angel with wings in bronze. And it's entitled, Winged Prince is Savior of the World. Immortalized in bronze as a muscular winged god dressed in nothing more than a loincloth. He'll be the first living member of the royal family to have a life-size statue dedicated in his honor. Although the prince is destined to become defender of the faith, when he becomes king of England, the inscription on the statue in Brazil honors him as savior of the world. He's shown naked apart from the loincloth with giant angel wings protruding from his back. His arms are extended as if offering comfort and security. The statue dominates the town square and named after the prince in Palmas, the state capital of Tucantins on the edge of the rainforest. The sculpture invites comparisons with the statue of Christ overlooking Rio de Janeiro from Corvado. It's set on a marble base and at its feet is an untidy mass of human bodies, one drinking from a bottle of wine which is said to represent the world in a mess that the prince is busy saving. Now again, I think there's better options for Antichrist out there, better things that line up with everybody loving him and so on. I don't think everybody loves Charlie Boy, but uh, yeah, these are things that are mentioned and things that are there. And I'll post this picture on the video. You'll see it now. Um, it's all things that you should take and sit on and stew on and look at and keep eyes on it now for the next three days while they do their morning wrap up and their preparation for celebrations for the king. And then we'll see where we go from there and how that ties into their big, big plans later this month. God bless. Shalom.